And it was like my usual doctor. Had a wee, but... Oh, is it a meta story? I don't know what you want me to say. But oh, I don't, you do know what you want you to say. You just don't want to say what you want you to say. No, it's just because I obviously had to take a photo of myself. Take, I had to take a picture of my boss. <laughs> my back door. Welcome to A Pint and Two Shots. Coming to you from the G4 Podcast Studio. Yeah. With part-time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden. And bringing a wealth of knowledge and questionable patter. It's our no-nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to a fight in two shots. It's a podcast. It's a football podcast. <laughs> a podcast? <laughs> Hi there, guys. Welcome to my podcast. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are live here. By the way, speaking of YouTube channel... Guys, subscribe, follow the channel. Do you know that 50, subscribe. Do you just know that fifty percent of the people that listen to our show don't, don't subscribe even to subscribe it? to the YouTube channel? Well, so that if you're listening right now, you're watching on YouTube, get yourself subscribed and like and tell all your friends and family. Just push that button. Push that button now. I hate when they do that. See next factor and they try to get for and they're stunning and Dermot uh Dermot Leary. Leary's stunning there. And he's going, if you might vote for this mob and he's still going do you know what they're doing? You're reading out the, is that the not, sponsorships. Is that not like 2010 part of man? Like, <laughs> I expect that's not been on for years. You find Rachel Adadiji. <laughs> Rachel Adadiji. <laughs> Sherloid. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, she's been up to. I don't know. Man. I, so, can't, I was wanting to do that voice again there, but I can't think of one single other X Factor Sherlock, person. Sherlock. Uh, Sherlock, it was. Um, it was. Uh, Frankie Cocosa. Frankie Cocosa. Frankie Cocosa. Frankie Cocosa. Rylan, he started off there. Rylan Clark. Aye. Aye. Rylan, big fan of Riverside. Andy Abrahams, he was good. What was he? Who? Andy Who was Abraham. He? Who was the sweeper, uh, the, the sweeper guy the that sweeper? won? Luther Mateus. Oh, by the way. <laughs> You want the German X Factor? What are you telling us, Ben? Ben is already into. He's got. A, he's he's been choking to use that board, hasn't he? He's took a, a whiteboard <laughs> off his mod fridge or something. <laughs> he's peaked too soon, mate, man. He's Get the live cam on to Ben right now. He's held it up right away. Because <laughs> he says if you need any facts and like, I'll just write it on the whiteboard. Aye. Shut up. And he's just put up One Direction. <laughs> oh, aye. Do you know what I mean? You didn't need to use a board for that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't use it for that. <laughs> Listen, don't just don't step my taste, mate. <laughs> no, just know your place. You're a fucking uh, producer. No, you're no talent, mate. You're the producer. Ben. Don't be shouting things if you need to speak. Use the board. Ben. <laughs> anyway. Aye. Sorry, bad boys. I know, man. I know. So what's the crack, man? Bob, you nearly get your hotel. <laughs> You were in the papers and everything, man. Somebody... Honestly, it must have been a slow news day, that day. JLS! <laughs> That's funny! Just randomly through the podcast. I people... So, Bob, you nearly get a hotel cast. JLS! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> no, so... <laughs> Aye, so my hotel get... Uh, my... My life get kind of oh, compromised the other day, man. G4! So. <laughs> G4! 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 G4, they were the Aye. Oh, what did you call your man? The white hair, the mad opera singer? Wagner! Wagner, he. No, the what? The, the opera singer, oh, remember? He was, he sung, uh, uh, go west. Pitch up on. Redian. Redian! <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Redian! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Redding's still kicking the ball, man. It's been a while. He's still kicking the ball. Oh, Redding. Fagner made a few bob on the old cameo and all that, hasn't he? Aye. 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 I nearly get you sell to jail a couple of times. Ah, but no, he doesn't know. Anyway, really speaking of the jail, I heard you nearly get to jail in a hotel. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. So what happened was, I was at my wee, my wee boy's football, right? Uh, he get player of the week, by the way. Fucking player of the week. I know, man. I was so Bad proud language. <laughs> So get, proud of him. Get flipping player of the week. <laughs> you get flipping player of the week. Yeah. And then I get him, say to the weed, say to the boy, man, like, going upstairs, get a shower. Me and your man's going out soon. My phone goes, Nicola phones me. So <laughs> now imagine how caught off guard you are, right? If you're going to be going away a wee date night with your missus, and she then phones you going, you trying to cancel this hotel? <laughs> that was was that like, she's like, did you try to cancel it? No, not a friend of mine. She said she was... But I was totally, bomba- uh, totally bom- bamboozled as well. Bombarded? <laughs> I was going, what? She's like, no. They've just phoned me and said, someday with the email s.purden at gmail.com went on the live chat on Friday night and tried to cancel You know what that is, don't you? You know what that is. Your man. 
It's bleep bleep. Aye. But jo- is it? We know it's you. John. It's we fucking know John it's you. John oh. anyway. By the way, you better hope it is him. Because see if it's not, that's quite... Oh, that's spooky. a bit spooky. stalker. Yeah, that's some spooky stuff out there, boys. But that's you end up in court like that, Shane. But that's when you know you've made it, innit? Aye. Think it was her? Do <laughs> she's moved on to me? Hey, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I know, I know, okay. Under, under legal. I get us still under legal investigation, but anyway, aye. keep going. Uh, aye, so it wasn't under my name anyway, and they got in touch and said... We've got to cancel the reservation. Then they phoned my missus, and my missus says no. So somebody on a Friday night has went to the trouble of creating a Gmail email account under my name, went on Lockside Hotel's live chat and tried to cancel my reservation. But it didn't work, mate. So get it up, ye. Get it. Up, right. ye. Up, ye. Aye. We had a great night, it was brilliant. And then I bet it was even better. It, it was, was even brilliant. better than it would have been like that. This brilliant. shouldn't even be happening now. Aye, We're having aye, a great aye. time. Mum will go up the road and see aye. what happens. John Bleep tried to cancel it, man. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Mad John. Mad John. Where were you like, but when it ended up, because obviously you tweeted it and ended up in the sun, was you like, oh, here we go again. That's what he was in. Bangs, that don't bother you. Yeah. I don't think, do they? I can't believe the sun called whoever it was a hacker. <laughs> 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 As if he broke into the Premier Inn's fucking uh, website. John, Premier John, Inn, you know John Bleep, the hacker. <laughs> and that's another thing compared to the Premier Inn a couple weeks before. I get lots of water. Oh, I was there. I well, lots of water. Lock, Lockside. Aye, Beautiful place, man. Beautiful place. Uh, Run so, out and dip a cup in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Toll, you're back. I'm back. Oh, aye, you're I'll, back. I'll tell you what, you've made fun of me last week. We did. We did. You've made fun of me last week, but I'll tell you this now and see anybody that's ever had it as well, you'll know. Shingles is no fucking laughing matter. No flipping laughing matter. It's no freaking laughing matter, I'll tell you that. Because I had shingles before, she looks agony. It is excruciating. I can't even explain it, honestly. It's like you're continuously getting stabbed. I thought I was having a heart attack. Hey. I've, I'm back. I'm, I'm, do you know, I missed these last week, even though you ripped the absolute piss out of me. Ah, we did, sorry. So, do you know what I say? I say, Sammy, come on, we'll sit down, we'll watch you boys, <laughs> we'll see what they have been up to. I, do, do you know, honestly, I, could, I, I nearly melted away to nothing in that seat. <laughs> You Wait, at least, nah, at least you did tell everybody after every single break, Toll's not here. Nah, <laughs> you actually, when we saying that earlier, you said every time we come back, you said, I was sit- we're, we're sitting in for Toll. Taking <laughs> two as, shots, As if Toll hosts the podcast and we're just guest car. Guess. You weren't missed, mate, because I thought I was going to end up having to talk about it. But I thought I'd stood well. You stood your ground. He was his usual nerve with eyes, man. He's like, mate, I can't talk about football, man. Usually you and Toll do this, man. I thought you could get him shot up, man. If you're talking about fucking four four twos, no, no, no. Oh, we put the good wee game as well, by the way. We oh, we'll play that can later. I get a shot of that today? Aye, we'll, aye, we'll that. Fun. More day later, more day later. We'll get to that, man. Uh, but Grado, your boss. No, I'm not. Come on, let's talk about let's your boss. Let's talk boys. about your boss, Grado. Come on. What? I've been told to say we want to hear the story about hey, your boss. See, this is unfair because... Grado, well, you and I should release a Christmas single called Shingle Buzz. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be like Bez for Happy Mondays. I'll just dance. I think I've <laughs> killed Greg. <laughs> <laughs> shingle balls right. Oh shingle balls oh, Shingle balls Shingle all the way Get in there right. <laughs> No but Greg was saying is There's something about your boss that... No because he heard me talking about it on another ah, podcast So tell the boys recently. Tell the boys no, I don't know what, what do you want me to say Greg Right <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to talk about I don't know what about your boss until he mentioned it. I, I know wait, it was wait, just wait, the wait, wait, wait a minute Wait a minute No, no let me look, I want to say one thing I want to say one thing right no, because she's cut that suit and put it in TikTok. No, and make a I just I mean, yeah, <laughs> make a follow, man. Right, so <laughs> you're all right to talk about your 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 Aye, your, so your boys when you're doing your podcast. I don't make a follow. Him. I don't make a follow. Me, I'm on a phone call. Or what? No, right. Basically, what happens is, see, whenever I, I wear a certain type of leotard, I get a kind of chafing. I keep yeah, talking yeah. this millions of times, man. Is that an anticlimax? Is that all? Just no, but about chafing? I think I was met at the story, but it's not. Basically, yeah. I phoned the doctor. <laughs> or at least I phoned the reception and she says, Look, well we don't take like um appointments now for that. What you a need to do is uh, a bit <laughs> buzz. We don't see a bit buzz anymore. <laughs> what you need to do is get arrested. <laughs> uh, she says, take a note of this email address. And the email address was like any S dot pardon at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs> And John Bleep will make sure you're alright. <laughs> Aye, so so the, the the email address was about fucking 150 characters long. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. <clears throat> and uh, I was like, well, what am I meant to do? She says, just take a photo of it and then send it. Oh, come on. I was going, but who's going to see this photo? She went, well, it'll go to the doctor. So I went out to my wee How did you know? How did you know the appointments for boys anymore? 
No, it's, I think it's maybe to do with rashes. It's maybe not if it was... So it's a damn... It's actually... It's not a, a, a rash that I get on my actual sack. It's... I know, no, I know what you mean. It's in between your balls and your leg. Aye, but it's not that one that you're thinking about. It's <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> right, right, You're getting embarrassed talking about it. Right. Like, I, I, it's right. It's fucking... No, I remember a while ago, I had to go as well, and I thought I had a wee problem member, and I had to go and see the doctor. And it was uh, my usual doctor. I had a wee, but... Oh, is that meant the story? I, I don't know what you want me to say. But oh, I don't, you do know what you want you to say. You just don't want to say what you want you to say. No, it's just because I obviously had to take a photo of myself. Take, to, I had to take a picture of my boss. <laughs> my back door. At your back door? Why, why, does why did you not do it in the house? Why does everything need to happen at your back door? <laughs> Why does she... No, I done it in my wee thing at the back door. Oh, in the oh, white house. Aye, aye, aye. And I just kind of cupped my horns. And What's your neighbour's name again? <laughs> Jim and Margaret. Jim and Margaret. Jim, he's out there taking photos, he's boss, Jim. Jim, you're only meant to be showing him. Was Jim getting your horn? You're not meant to be doing it for him, Jim. You're only meant to be showing him. Just hold your sack there, son, and Jim will get the photo. <laughs> So I take a picture hey, of Gredo, me. can I get a beer? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not just shut the blinds in your room and just eat in your bedroom? Because I was because it's better lighting <laughs> in, the, in the hangway. It's better lighting. Nobody, he's, nobody he's eye in the eyes. After Jim went back over the road, <laughs> it started smoking with the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent it, right? Right. But then a day went by, and then another day went by, and then I'm going, who the fuck's got this photo? Aye. Getting me standing there with my rashy balls. Oh, no, you sent it to the wrong person, <clears throat> didn't you? No, I never sent it to any wrong person, but I wanted it cleared up. Um, so I phoned up, I phoned back up again, and uh, she says, right, well, we've got a nurse to phone you back. And uh, the nurse phoned me back, and I says, listen, I'm not very happy. I says, look, I went out there and got my hormones out and got, took a photo of it, and I've sent it, and I don't know where it's in limbo. It's an email limbo. Um, and she went, all right, wait, and I'll go and find it the note. And I went, don't bother. <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went, don't bother going look for it now. I've got you on the phone now. I've got a rash down there and I came with pills I need. <laughs> I traconazole. She went, let me try and find it. I went, no, <laughs> You know she's gone, um, Bobby. He's yeah, that's, I've, I've heard from some people in there. She's obviously I've, went, this is my opportunity. Uh, see grey those boys. boys. <laughs> But and if you're listening, Doc. <laughs> but, but I was also telling about it because it reminded me of the time I went to my doctor's because I had that same bother about ten years ago when I certainly a tired. I really should chuck this later tired. Aye. And, uh, I went to the doctor <laughs> and I went in and I says, uh, "I have got a week and a thing down there the later." And he went, "Let's see it then." So I kind of thought so the doctor knew was done, but I think he just wanted me to pull up kind of trunky my. Aye. Uh, undergarment. Aye. But instead of uh, get the weak my pants right now. Aye, aye, aye. And my fucking dog come right out the doctor's face. He's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> can, can you hand the doctor with it just a played play ball with uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was mortified. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, did he slap your wally? <laughs> put it away. He's like, put it away, put it away. Best it was that same doctor I met him at Download Festival when we had a beer and we spoke about it. <laughs> is your rash cleared up now? It's a hundred percent. Did you get the gear you needed? Gear it only takes two days and it's away. Aye. And then have the, you been that later? No, I'm only again tonight. Because <laughs> it's one of the first. Because you've, you've got the pills. Uh, I've got the pills. Aye. Aye. Wear, a, wear a pair of boxers under it or something. No, like, I do wear boxers, but it's just the way it kind of. It's, it, it's still torn. Ah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Should we talk about football now? Football. Aye. Can I get a wee break? <laughs> Welcome back to Pink Two Shots, the podcast. Let's talk footy. <laughs> Stephen and Toe. Steve Toe, take it away. Steve, <laughs> Steve oh, Toe. I'll get some emails done. No, hey, Steve, before I know we're going to talk about football, I need to say this because my wee boy always wants to watch the podcast, right? So, I'm telling him, sorry, this is going back. We will, we will get to football, right? Trips, just bear with us. Right, so I was going to take the ways to school yesterday morning. We're driving, all right. Got to school, Wayne's are in the back. Okay. Usual chat, carrying on, all right. And then I goes, because I'd been working a lot, I went, guess who's picking you up for school today? And Leo be like, Gredo! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Leila, my daughter, went, I imagine when the bell went and we walked out and Gredo and Tolst on there already. Mate, mate, we need to do that. Oh, that is so funny, man. My wee boy, honestly, he loves him, but he probably thinks you're funny. He's uh, a lot, but he be like, just his wee face, like, <laughs> Gredo! <laughs> So, son, uh, maybe one day Grey Don't Toll will come to the school and pick you up, do, right? Do you know what that totally reminded me, right? I remember about five or six years ago, a guy at a wrestling show came up, right, and showed me his wee black Labrador. He went, 
guess what we've called it? And I was like, what? He went, Gredo. <laughs> And he called it uh, it's probably right, right. And I was delighted it went right. <laughs> and then see about six months later, I can't remember who it was. Don't that tell was, me that dog's deed. No, why? Because this is worse. Stunned at the merchandise table, right? And the guy came up and went, You're the guy with a dog called Grado. Well, this, guy, this guy's got a dog and he's called it after me, can I'm showing off and all aye, that. Aye. I was like, the guy, you've got a dog called Grado, ain't you? He went, Nah, we've changed its name. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you know just why? Why do you know he just says, why? He says, nah, I just wait, I can't lose, just thought I would change it. <laughs> I was fucking, re- I was raging, man, I was like, ah, kill me, I right, see that. When you <laughs> are, <aren't> I, mate, you say, 20 quid. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, Fitba. Fit, what, it's a football podcast. That's a, a shame too, I was going to call my dog Steve like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I went for Steve there, sorry, mate. Cool. <laughs> so Rangers uh, played Aberdeen. See, I've been Rose. getting banter about this. Because it's the only game I've missed this season, right? And we're meant to have been brilliant. Aye, we did, brilliant. we did play well. And then first, um, first 20 minutes or so, Rangers were ropey. I watched the full game. They were game. ropey. You see, as soon as Aberdeen scored, Aye. Aberdeen never get near them again for the rest of the game. Rangers were, after Aberdeen scored, Rangers were brilliant. So the best thing that happened to us was Aberdeen getting a goal, Jank. And I thought, I thought they'll never come back for us. I really, as, mm. as soon as they scored, I thought that the crowd are going to get right on their back. But... Um, as I say, I was listening to the wireless. I was going to be up to, funnily enough, Aberdeen at the time. So, um, But I've watched the goals back. I think, oh, good, good goals. Man. Good, goal, good, good goals. goals. Joe Ack took his goal well. Uh, Tav missed a penalty as well, didn't he? Hit the post. Yeah, yeah. My mate said it's probably the best performance Rangers have had under Gio, domestically anyway. He said they played really well, but then obviously we'll get to the European campaign. But what do you think? Is that a kind of, it's like one of the ones, is it? It's good. <laughs> I remember the feeling a lot of folk were going, this is it now. Like, we mm-hmm. can kick on. Can nah, I know. Nah. Because I, I don't. If you listen to it, oh God, when oh God, when Boz was good on one. BBC Radio, good he one. was a uh, good oh, one. He was, was great. Uh, awesome. yeah. He was. I think as I think they set up to play as if they were going to have a go at us. Aye, aye. aye. They did. They did. And yeah. he was making a lot of noise before the game, saying we're not going to be going there to be lambs to the slaughter. And <laughs> we we see we see ourselves as what. A match for Rangers and aye. obviously, what are you laughing? <laughs> that was the sort of party he was getting. No, it, no, it just goes. It's because they call him sheep. No, that ain't Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I'm, f- I'm far too naive for this show nowadays, man. So, anyway, uh, they turned up thinking that they were going to be a match for Rangers. They were for about 20 minutes and then it all just felt to, felt to bits, man. Aye. They were, they were quite poor after they scored a goal. Yeah. I thought or were Rangers just very good? I think it was a bit of both, Stevie, to be honest okay. with you. Okay. I do I think it was a bit of both. Okay. They, Aberdeen never get any service up to their two front Aye. men, and that guy. Duck, yep. is it Duck you call Duck, him? So. Duck. He could run all day, that boy. He's he's a good player. Aye. He is a good player now. Bioski, did, did, did you see if he'd a good game of it? No, I didn't even know he was playing. No. <laughs> he no. was, he played the full know, 90. I know, weeks that we've been I know, picking him up, him up to hell, there was I know, he, he hardly <clears> got a touch of the ball, now that he did. But, uh, three points for Rangers, I was happy. I was in Lockside Hotel, sitting there going, this is great, we've beat Aberdeen. Did you watch it on it? No, because no, the time we got up there, it was about three-ish, we got battered into the bevy. Then we'd have a wee massage. We'd do it at the spa at four o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the yeah. at the same time? Aye, but in different couple, rooms. A couple's right? massage? Well, I get my back a full body massage. <laughs> I, I, I can't brilliant. enjoy the hang. Oh, man. I loved it, man. It was brilliant. I can't enjoy it. I, I thought you'd be, love all that. I bet, see, because I've got to be right. I've got to be bunged up with a modem. Just like I'm feeling case of fart. No, do you know what you're scared <laughs> He's, yeah. he's fear in case he gets a wee hoo hoo. No, because like, you're, you're, you're lighting in your belly. Like, Gredo, Jesus Christ, you've got a hard on. You think your dog had been wanting your toes? <laughs> <laughs> Would that make you feel more relaxed uh, if you took the dog away? <laughs> By the way, shout out to Claude. My Claude. Misses his dog. He's got a better issue than a. Oh, Claude, Claude he's, got chow, big, he's got a big lump in his neck. No, that's not his oh, chow. No, so no, I don't, mate. It's a Bijon. Don't, don't oh, it's a Bijon. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Bichon. <laughs> my mate's dog. Ill dogs make me sad. My mate's dog get put in the man. Fuck it's off with this talk, man. I know, man. Oh, I know, it's sad, Rainbow man. Bridge. Rainbow Bridge. Right, right yeah, anyway, right. <laughs> on to Grado's number one team at the moment. Dundee United, oh. nil, Motherwell won the G4 Derby. the G4 Derby, mm. yeah. How was that, MD Watcher? <laughs> <laughs> Greg was there, weren't you, Greg? Were you in that game? No. I thought you were flying the G4 <laughs> flags. It was a G4 Derby. No, Ben? Are you there? No, Jamie? She won't. So nobody in the room from G4 went to the G4 derby. Why, but why would I go there? Because it's a G4 derby. He's a Hamilton fan. I mean, it's a G4 <laughs> derby. We had guests. Aye. Anyway, Dundee United, no matter one. Very inconsistent, Dundee United. Very inconsistent. Aye. It's been going decent for a wee while there. I, I, 
did you see Tony Watt's red card? Aye, we'll, we'll get to that, man. Aye, that, I was, that, was, that, was, that was a... I don't bad any see it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But it's one of the ones, and it? It's like, if you see it in real time, there's not much in it, but see when it's slowed right down, Aye. you think, now that looks a lot Aye. more dramatic. Aye, he pulls out. I, I, he Aye, he pulls but, out, man. I mean, he studs, he's, he studs are shown, but he, does, he doesn't connect. Exactly. And I don't think, he, I don't think it is it's intentional. It's been rescinded, though, hasn't it? Has it been rescinded? I think it's been rescinded, aye. Aye, aye. aye, aye definitely. <laughs> <laughs> totally knew that there. <laughs> Love it when talk about football, man. Honestly, it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, Hibernian 3, St Mirren. Now I fancied... Who did I tip last week? I think I tipped Hibs as well. Aye. Aye. Hibs are starting, to, are starting to pull away a wee bit in third place. Oh, I was with Keith Flashley, the assistant manager, St Mirren on the Friday night. Playing Aye, Aye. Did you I go to the semi-final. I know you told us. Oh, did I? The assistant manager's out on the Friday night playing darts. His team get turned over three nine the next day. It's for Beats and, beats and Charlie. Get away with any bastards, <laughs> don't they? It was good. By the way, I'm a big supporter of the beats. Yeah, just of in course. Case yeah. Yeah. Keith Flash was a great guy. We'll maybe come back on a podcast. He's one lovely, man. Well. He is handsome, isn't he? Housewife's favourite, isn't he? My God, the spiff He was great. He was fancy the pants off Keith Flash, man. Aye. Every time he was on the telly, he's like, I'll tell you something. That is one handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Well, he is a handsome man. Sit Johnson 1, Kilmarnock no. I said that last week, Kilmarnock, I think they're going to get Mr. Points from home. Away from home, they do struggle. Sit Johnson, that's a big three points for them. Yep. Uh-huh. And then on to the Sunday. That's <laughs> enough of it, I Then on the Sunday, Livingston versus Celtic. Mm. There you go, Celt- uh, looks as if Celtic have got by their... Levy who do? Did, right. you, did you see the, the tweet that I sent to you? No. It was uh, Celtic going away to Livingston and it's Macaulay Culkin coming out of the house and home along like that. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> I, so I turned it off. I think, what did Kyogo score in the eighth minute? Aye, it was a cracking goal. Well, actually, yeah. a, a great finish. I think we had a great goal on all. Uh, Greg Taylor. Aye. It was a good goal. Oh, he's By just, he's smashed it, isn't he? He's on fire, isn't he? Aye, he's, do That's you know what? He's been excellent this season. He really has. I, think it, I like to think it's because I went and visited him at the training ground. Aye, you've gave him a wee. Uh, like Greg. Can, can you go to any of the Rangers yeah. training ground? No. Can you go there? No. <laughs> Give him a wee G up, no? Where he playing this weekend. Sit Johnson. I'm going to Perth. Aye. As we speak. <laughs> no, but again, three goals. Jack and Marcus missed a penalty. Probably could have been there. I've seen oh, wee bits and bobs. Can you see that penalty? I'd have saved Aye. that. Did he hit the post, <laughs> didn't he? No, keep her saving. Did he keep her saving? But that is amazing. I mean, it's funny to just think, t- still talking about Taylor. I mean, a year ago, you were all. Aye. Gonna... Oh, mate, I was his big, you know, I was his mm-hmm. biggest critic, Aye. but. Do you know what? It as just I shows always you a bit say, of patience, and I don't know what it is. Is it? Well, that's my point with managers, Gredo. Mm-hmm. Now you see, I always say I hate seeing a manager getting sacked pure early because you let somebody grow into a job, and then and that's exactly what Greg Taylor's done. He's took all the criticism and see if you're going to give the criticism out, you need to give the plaudits out as well. Him and Hitati have been our two best players this season. Yeah. But easily, easily. Greg Taylor's been outstanding, man. Who is? Who else did Celtic sign? There is the Celtic sign a left back. They signed uh, Bernabe. What did I call him last week? Bernabeu. Bernabeu. Aye, Bernabeu. I called oh, him don't talk do about fucking Bernabeu. Uh, do, you, get there. do you think that's maybe been a sort of kind of... What do you call catalyst. it? Catalyst. That's yeah, a that's word, a word, word you're for, bro. A catalyst, um, you know, for him to kind of... I think so. Down. I think so, yeah. aye, because like... Um, <coughs> they'll sit, yeah, they'll the season, season before, <coughs> he never really had much competition at all, but the season before that, he had uh, Wax Out. Remember mm. that? The lovely days, man. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, days, man. Days, man. Okay, days, man. But yeah, that, that's using to replace Taylor. Officially. Well, I, I don't but think. But he's face, so I thought I was doing well asking that he question. Can't, he can't really replace Kieran Tierney, I don't think. I get the point you're making, Grado, but um, I don't think you can. Really I, 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 I missed it, I don't know, Ben. I don't know what happened. What happened? I went and thought I was doing well, going, <clears throat> uh, do you think I should have finally replaced Kieran? I looked at him and he went. Guys, can we just... Sorry. Get, no, I mean... Hey, cut that wee bit You Sorry. can tell when Grado's enjoying his cell and he thinks he's talking good about football because he folds his arms. Listen, this is called... This is called a pint... He's still doing it, he's still doing it. This is called a pint and two shots, not a pint and two shots and a chaser. <laughs> All right? <laughs> but another three points for Celtic. It looks like no much is going to stop them these days domestically. Ross County won, Hearts two. That was the final... I thought Ross County would get a result against Hearts. Cause of the whole Thursday Sunday thing. Aye, aye. Um, but clearly I was correct in my assertions. Ah, once the whole. I mean, that's them at Europe now. I said at the start of the season. I think Hearts will comfortably finish third this season. Really, do I think they've just got two good so. squads? Aye, I don't think they will. They will. They've got two, they've got the easily the best squad out with all for them, man. And once they get Liam Boyce back and stuff as well, they've got a great squad. They'll finish third. <laughs> Yeah. 
Welcome back to the podcast. Let me tell you a bit about our sponsors, Performance Tires. Performance Tires, they supply a wide range of high-quality performance tires at low, low, low prices. They've got three branches that cover the Central Belt, Annie's Land, Air and Kermunuk, and they stock all of the major tire brands. We've got Pirelli, Hankook, Avon, Yokohama, Continental, Goodyear, and they specialise in Lazar tires. Lights, trucks and vans, cars, they supply all-season tires, winter tires, and they run flat tires for all seasons. Listen, they provide a professional tyres fitting service. All the branches have got up to the minute fitting equipment to take care of those precious alloy wheels and they provide the highest standard of computerised wheel balancing and accurate wheel alignment. So here's a crack. If you want your tyres done, if you need your car sorted and fitted with new tyres, give them a call 0141 954 9344 or click the link in the description. Now let's give a shout out to the main sponsor of this pod, the daddy of them all, G4 Claims. They were here in Wishaw in the G4 Claims empire. And (laughs) G4 Claims provide the quickest, most reliable and friendly service to anyone involved in a non-fault accident. Every G4 Claims customer is treated with the most utmost professionalism and respect. Accidents are stressful, Graham. Of course they are. Yes. So please pass the worry and hassle on to G4, and they will make it simple and easy to get you back on the road as soon as possible. Call them on 01698 767 172. That's 01698 767 172. Or you can visit them at notatfault.com. And the link, as always, is in the description. Say there. And if you fancy being a part of the show, get in touch. You could be a sponsor, a pint and two shots. Click the email link in the description and we can contact you and we can get something arranged to make you part of the team. Let's have a look at the European results this week, then, eh? Divinity. The last week, I know, I can't. We'll do it for the last time. <laughs> That's what I like here. We can't even get I'll be, I'll right. be happy if I never hear that Champions League right. song again. It's the uh, theme tune to the Scottish Cup. <laughs> uh, the p- the picture fuck. <laughs> But Rangers went out with a whimper. A whimper. The only good thing about Tuesday night, I felt personally, I don't know about you, Greg, you were there as well, the Ajax fans were phenomenal. Were that's, phenomenal. that's the first thing Fletch and they my brother drunk. said. They text me saying, wow, they've they just, took some support, by the way. They just kept singing anyway, that, don't they, worry about it. They kept singing, singing that. I don't must be an Ajax thing. They just they sang it for ages. Yeah, yeah. But I was, remember being a Bob Marley strip last season. <laughs> there was, uh, there was a, an idiot, a shout out for the guy, right? Now, Obviously, I sat where I sit. I get all the games and my season tickets. So Don't get your number away. Somebody will no, up and cancel your ticket. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's a certain guys that, you know, have got the, the ticket for the game on their seat, right? And you can know there's some guys that end up sitting there that Aye. don't normally sit there. Now, Nady would say to this guy, he was built like a brick shit house. He was about six foot five, right? Big beard and all that. But... So many things he's going to make. Oh, no. <laughs> he'd obviously oh, had a few... As if he's never been to football before. A wee bit. Oh, he, he, watches it in for the house. He had, mm. He'd had a few shandies, right? And we were sitting there, right? And you could just hear the frustration building up, right? And he got to the point where he's, he's sitting there and Rangers are playing pish. And he's like, Stop being wee guys! He's <laughs> like, Stop being wee guys! <laughs> He's only wee boys get out to a drink and your sweets took off you. <laughs> Seriously. And we all said, me and my mate just kept on each other. Oh, well, the best part, I see somebody that shouts something like, they think that they're entertaining. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they think don't they? They think they don't think I'm good, they think I'm a good laugh. But he right. just kept shouting and his voice was like yours, but then he's like, so be we guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, mate. You're three man down. I actually could have done what they wanted in that game. He's like, come on, Rangers. It's still there. Come on. And I'm like, oh, mate, Gone and just shut up, but I couldn't. He was a big boy, you know. <laughs> you know what I miss. But it was, I just want to touch on as well Leon King. A lot of people working him about abuse in the stands all night, and I think it's shocking, man. That <sighs> wee guy has been flung into a powder keg pressure situation. He's playing with a guy who's a centre mid next to him, they're, they're running against a very good Ajax team, and you're going. What the wee guys having to do you know? It's above and beyond. He yeah. should be brought into a team that's a winning team and bed him in slowly, but it's it's no fair on you're him. You're right, man. but you won't know this because you're not like 
the same level of Rangers fan as me and Grado and Greg and that because mm. we seen the game on Saturday. Aye, right, okay. Aye, aye. But he was. Grado didn't he listen to the wireless? But he listened to it. Aye. Right. He was not gallivanting, swigging, right. uh-huh. swigging long vodkas. Long vodkas? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> 1999, man. I'm taking, <laughs> taking his back to the last millennium oh, there. Like, what would you want tonight? <laughs> I'll just keep a Bacardi Breeze on a long vodka. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a, can I get a long vodka and a Caribbean twist? <laughs> <laughs> No, all joking aside, but he was excellent in Saturday. Nah, yeah, he was really, really, really But I don't get that, man. It's I brutal, honestly mate. don't. It's but brutal. as you say, and he's like, it's, it's not as if he's had like a, a, the same partner every week. No. He's, he's playing with a midfielder. Mm-hmm. And he's only 18 mm-hmm. years of age. Aye. If they be putting that pre- the pressure. <laughs> I just keep thinking about you. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> If you help it, some people were saying the stand, they would have been greeting to his dad. That joke, yeah, man, honestly, it would have been, man, it was shocking. But, but it's, it's, hard, it's hard for... Just sometimes eyebrows, it can be... Horrible, man. Isn't it? Horrible it's, thing. I think that's just football in general, lads, to be honest with you. Do you know what? The young players, like I was saying earlier on, they don't get enough time. No. They don't get enough time. They're expected to hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. And, you know, King came in and... I thought he played really well to begin with. He's mm-hmm. obviously had the setback against Liverpool. He's maybe a wee bit... He's not ready for the Champions League. Right? I think it's fair to say. But he can't help it when he's playing next to a, a central midfielder. He's What is he... In, in all honesty, if Rangers, all of their centre-halves are fit, it's King about fifth or sixth choice. Well, you've got... Well, you've got... Right, Goldson... You've, Goldson, Ben Davies, John Suter, Hollander... Hollanda. Leon King. Aye, so fifth oh, choice then. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? The thing is, I'm all right. At Rangers, the other night for me, the game passed Stephen Davis by, right? Stephen Davis, I thought, was poor. The other night, right? Very poor. He tried to play a pass, a simple body of Arfield, which led to, I think, it was, it was the second Arfield's buffed that night as well. I know. And then... Fuck you, man. Sure. Happy You're birthday. Such a mark, man. Happy birthday, <laughs> Scotty. Happy birthday, Scotty. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. Just return the favour. Mm. Anyway, what are you saying? He, 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 he had you on his story as well. I've seen that on your Instagram. He's, he, he's a lot. Happy birthday, Scott. He, 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 that a very poor game that night. Really? Aye, 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 And you never get back to me about your birthday present. What was that? Uh, you, no, you'll never know now because you never get back to me. I know. I nah, know. Nah, he was shite sh- that night, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, my point is a lot of the fans have got their favourites, right? Like Stephen Davis, game passed him by, he had a poor game, but then you hang the young boy out of dry. Leon King, you're gone. Come on, man. You, what you said there, he's not ready for the Champions but League. Let me finish. Gets a pass no, I know. A but what you said the other night was, eh, what you said there is, he's not ready for the Champions League. But that full squad isn't ready for the Champions but it's, League. Uh, but, squad, but, but what, I, what a mixture, I mean, you're talking, Davis and Arfield, they can pay the injury them. Aye. With an 18-year-old centre-half, it's just so... And, that, and that's what me and my mates were saying all night as well. You're, you're extending Arfield, Davis, you're extending their contracts to start the season. For me, when you're extending their contracts, their squad players, right, their squad players are going to play every now and again. What are you laughing at? I've got that. Right, they are right, but you're not expecting them to be starting in Champions League games. No, I mean it's no, it's just the state we're in now, man. The state we're in, then a big guy eighteen's getting pure dogs abuse. I've certain. What about, what about what? Morelos? He's miss. Oh. Honestly, man. What man? He's, he's just no firing at all, you know. No, he's no, he's no, he's poor. He's just, I don't know what's going on. There's a so. shadow, shadow. He's for myself. Aye, but I don't want to sit here every week. Come no. on, Rangers, because I bore myself. Aye, bore myself, man. Honestly, but Liverpool get us out against Napoli. Wasn't enough to top the group, no. but they qualify. Beat Napoli 2-0. Other scores for the Tuesday night. Um, Tottenham. Spurs. Did you see that drama? The yep, last minute so goal. Yep, last, last minute, minute goal. Goal. They, they were 1-0 down at half-time, they were out. And then they won 2-1, they scored with the last kick mm-hmm. of the ball. They go Frankfurt through. Was, Frankfurt. They were down against And Sportage they're through as well. Right. But it just shows you, didn't it, that the Mate, teams that went through, exactly. man. It's like... Leipzig, Dortmund, we, Frankfurt. We, we held our grun. Against Bell, Frankfurt in the final, we beat we Dortmund, beat Dortmund beat we beat Leipzig. Leipzig. And now he's are the worst team in Champions League history. Exactly. Um, <sighs> crazy. On to Wednesday. Real Madrid 5, Celtic 1. Told did you watch that game? <laughs> that game. Real Madrid 5, Celtic 1. Fuck, we sat the other day. <laughs> <laughs> did you miss it? No, nah, I've seen it. Jota seen scored a well I've seen it every fucking single stinking minute yet. Yeah. Nah. Again, that was as, mu- as clinical as Real Madrid were. I thought they like, were pretty fucking good. I know what you mean. Aye, Do you know I what was, I mean? I've seen some of it. They, they, they played well with a lot of chances. They had a lot of shots on target. We need to fucking get somebody that can put a foot through the ball and hit an absolute arsewinder for distance. An because, arsewinder. Do you know what I mean, though? Aye. Like, 
Do you want us to just go well, didn't he, Bam? But the celebration, come on. Aye. <laughs> we two fell out in the group chat, didn't we? Aye. Aye. I know. Remember what you said? Remember what you said? Aye. No bother. <laughs> Aye, <laughs> the, the, the wee WhatsApp captions up on screen, man. Oh I was God. saying nothing. I was saying nothing. Well, well played, Steve. Yes, well well no, but uh, why did they start greeting but when he scored? Did you? Because he hung me the hurt himself. <laughs> probably. <laughs> did he start greeting? He looked like he was greeting when he scored, aye. I'd probably start greeting if I scored the, against the I, champions. I think that's what it was, isn't it? Ah, young just player, he was against... overwhelmed, wasn't he? He was ah, it was something he kicked, to be fair. It was. it was a great goal. It was a great goal. Keep up, should have saved it. I think so. Aye. I think he got some power on it. He did get good. I thought he'd went he went in off the post. But he get Ben Dan swerve on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, thought, I thought Jack Amarcus's penalty wasn't it? it was poor. That was against Livingston. Oh, who's, who's, somebody must have put him oh, against Oh, aye, aye, that was Juranovic. Yeah, Juranovic. Juranovic. Aye, good, good height for the keeper. Aye, good, good, good know that, Gredo, good height for the keeper. Well, yeah, I forgot we got a penalty. Aye, that's right. Christ, we could have scored two against aye. the Burnley Bridge. Juranovic would have started green. <laughs> 20 minutes into the first aye. half. <laughs> Do you know what I thought he was going to do? Remember a while see ago that again? Dink? I thought, I thought he, was he was going to, going to try it and all, mate. I was like, let's see if he does that. Oh, for fuck's sake. And Leipzig beat Shakhtar. Shakhtar are into the Europa. And like you were saying earlier, Greg, another team that we beat last season mm. into the last 16 of the Champions League. Yep. Heartbreaking stuff, eh, bud? <laughs> what about our other side, Stevie boy? Mm? AC Milan. AC Milan, done what they had today. They won 4-0 and they're through. Finished second behind Chelsea. Love to see it. Big Giroud again. Two assists and a goal. Rolling back years, just he's assist. Aye. But he did. Oh, he was, he was uh, phenomenal. He's finished for the first goal. Oh, was brilliant as well. Aye. And Dortmund there for as well. PSG, what's his name? Skin. Mbappe scored oh. a flicking, flicking screamer. Mate, see that goal as good as he it was? He nutmegged the boy. And, oh. See how you ever watch the goal show? On BBC, uh, uh, every BT time Sport. BT Sport, every no. time. Right, so Celtic were in the early kickoff, so I could watch Aye. the, I could watch a goal show, right? Mate. PSG with the skin of their teeth won that game. Mm-hmm. Juve pounded them. Aye. Every five minutes is like, oh, we're going back to Turin. Juve have hot the post. They've fucking done this and that. And on the fucking flip side of it, in the other They're game, flipping, and, flipping and, and flip the, side the flip side of it, Aye. in the other game, Benfica go. Benfica eight. finished top of the group. Aye, for, they're uh, one of five teams Aye. that are undefeated in the Aye. Champions League. Six one, they're a good team. They're a very good team. Man City, one all done and one three one. The youngest ever Champions League goal scorer now. I'm pretty sure the boy um, scored the first goal. He's his got name? a funny name, hasn't he? Rio. Seventeen years old. What's his old. name? Rico something. Or Rico. Anone. No Anone. One Anone. Rico oh. Suave. Aye, Can but. Did he? Ah, Kelvin Ramsey, well, there we go. Aye. There you go, and a 2-0 victory against Napoli. Aye, I fancied Napoli to beat them as well. Didn't he fancy I had Napoli on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, aye, and your prediction thing with you. <laughs> a, cl- a clumping. A How are you going on with that? He's got your results. He's well, your results, huh? fantasy football. At the end of the group stage. The end of the group stage. Stephen, who is me, has moved into the top 20. Wow. I'm 20th now. I played... My wild card because I'm preparing for t- for players that aren't going to be in the Champions League anymore. And I put in Thibaut Courtois, who saved the penalty, so I was very happy about that. Yes. I, put, uh, I put in Mbappe and I put in Messi. Messi got an assist, Mbappe got a goal. So I've moved up to 20th on 376 points. Christopher Toll, he boosted there as well, mate. 30th, 341 points on the Tuesday night after the run of fixtures on Tuesday. You were above me. Was it? Yeah, I checked it. Huh? You went above me. Ben, Ben, Ben. Still loitering about in the doldrums of the 50s. <laughs> 52nd on 308 points. And still in first place is Haji, Neeps and Tatties on 468 points. And Chris Lowe thought Mr. Haji, Neeps and Tatties should have changed his name to... Haji, Neeps and Hatatties. <laughs> <laughs> hands, hands across the divide. <laughs> <laughs> but he's on 468 points and he remains in first place. And that... Ladies and gentlemen, is this week's Champions League Roundup. Okay, cookies, we are back live at a pint and two shots, the podcast, the football podcast. Let's have a game of what am I saying? What's going to happen is Toll is going to receive some loud music in his ears. He has to guess which footballing slash some general terms that I'm saying in the minute. Also, that we give him the chance to play the game. So, if we can get the loud music on the lugs. Beautifully described. Get it going. 
To? Is the music on, To? To, you can't hear me? To, you can't hear me? He's froze. Right, okay. You ready? <clears throat> so, I'll go like that, and that's when I start, okay? <clears throat> right. Charlie Mulgrew. Shagging a balloon. Charlie Mulgrew. Jackie Polo. Charlie Mulgrew. Sh- Platinum Blue. Charlie Mulgrew. <laughs> Pass. Andre Arshavin. Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Andre Arshavin. Andre Arshavin. Ben Nevis. Brian Evans. Ben Nevis. Peter Nevin. Ben <laughs> Nevis. Penny Levin. Ben Nevis. Pass. <laughs> Satanta. Sisters Tarts. Satanta. Sister Tarts. Satanta. Saint Tarts. Satanta. Satanta. Yes. Kieran Dyer. Ian Dyer. Kieran Dyer. Kieran Dyer. Kilburnie Ladeside. Kenny Miller. Kilburnie Ladeside. Kilburnie Use Rangers. Kilburnie Ladeside. Kilburnie Age Side. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. Substitute goalkeeper. Someone's sub goalkeeper. Substitute goalkeeper. Take Substitute that. goalkeeper. Curly Watts. <laughs> Curly Watts. Turnkin Watts. Curly Watts. Turnkey Watts. Curly Watts. Turkey Watts. Curly Watts. John Watson. <laughs> Next one. Stade de France. Santa Flower. Stade de France. Santa Flower. Stade de France. Sand Flaps. Stade de France. Sandy Flaps. Johan Mayalba. Joe Hand Me Down. Joe Hand Mayalbe. Joe Hand Mayalbe. Corner Flag. Colin McRae. Cor- <laughs> Corner Flag. Corner Flag. <laughs> Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> 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 You know, the best bit about that one this week, the way he's saying it, you don't get it, he's getting made angry. Curly Watts! Okay, guys, here we okay. are again. Right? Beat the Dafty is back. You got me all nervous. <laughs> Beat the Dafty is back, and since fucking stop it, since I'm the current champion, I get to read out the questions. All right, then. Right? So who wants to go out first? Who wants to leave the room? When you go out to Aye. I don't want me to leave, fuck. Yeah, it's leaving Because you always have to go. Oh, Jesus, me, Rangers. Don't get a pass, mate. Don't get a pass, mate. Look, the dwarfism. Did he say that? Is that what you've got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I shall take my leave. Just get out of the room. Move the camera, Jamie. Let him by. <laughs> take your time, Tom, man. Shut the door on the way out. Get out. This is the page you drew. It's what we all think about Toll, really, man. <laughs> <laughs> Toll has left the building. Right. right. Producer Ben, have you got the appropriate background music? Yes. Are you ready, Graham? Oh, hold on. Oh, he's not sure if he's ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Good match of questions here. Music right. you play. You ready? <clears throat> here we go. Three, two, one. How many points did Tarts get in the Europa Conference group? Man. Who played Curly Watts in Coronation Street? Uh, Tony Melvin. How many seasons of still game was there? 14. Who's the current top goal scorer in the Champions League? I can take one or two answers. Uh, would you call him the big blondie that fell? Harland. How many episodes of a pint and two shots have we done? 12. Who sang Love It Up? Hey there, you yep. keep going pass. <laughs> Which club was Lee Griffiths playing for in Australia? Nobody. Uh, Final answer. Uh, down under FC. What age am I? 38. What's the surname of the bad family in the Goonies, the baddies? Never saw it. Right. Was Gradle really going to pick Jamie up to the train station? I or no? No. And our time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Toll, come on down. Toll is back in the building and producer Ben, are we ready? You ready, Toll? Ready. Three, two, one. How many points did Hearts get in the Europa Conference? Six. Who played Curly Watts in Coronation Street? Kevin something. How many seasons of still game was there? Seven. Who's the current top goal scorer in the Champions League? There's two, I can take one answer. Salah. How many episodes of a pint and two shots have we done? Twelve. Who sang Love It Up? Uh, Ricky Martin. Which club was Lee Griffiths playing for in Australia? Uh, Melbourne City. What age am I? 
38. What's the surname of the bad family in the Goonies? Fratellis. Was Grado really going to pick Jamie up for the train station? I or no? Yes. And <laughs> we are done. Okay. <laughs> so, there were some very interesting answers there, guys. First of all, both of you got the same one wrong. I'd like to thank you so much, because I'm not 38, I'm 39. So but thanks so year. much, I Bastard. Oh. Aye, thanks, but guys, I do appreciate it. Cheers, man. Good for it. Cheers, oh, thanks, good for it bro. Cheers, bud. Cheers, bud. Cheers. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, the first question. How many points did Hearts get in the Europa Conference League? Graham, you said one. <laughs> Toll, you said six. Toll, you are correct. It's one nil to Toll. Who played Cully Watson Corey? It was Kevin Sunday. It wasn't he? Who well, no, no, it was Kevin. It's Kevin. Christ, we'll get this. I just Kevin Webster. Ke- Kevin Connolly or something. Like that. Oh. Kevin, Kevin Connor. Kevin Kennedy. Kevin, Kevin Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. Right, so it's still one nil to Toll. How many seasons are still game, mother? You said nine. seven. That was nine. I said 14. I don't know where I got that. There's nine. nine. Still one nil to Toll. Who's the current top goal scorer in the Champions League? Haaland is not there, Gregor. Toll goes into a 2 0 lead because he did say Sarah. He's yeah. joint top with Mbappe on nine. Seven. seven. Aye. How many episodes of Pint Two Shots have we done? 12. 12. 12. 12. So it's 2 1 now. No, 3 1. 3 1, sorry, it's 3 1 to Toll. Who sang Love It Up? How did you not get that? I can't remember the name of the band. Mental is anything. Mental is anything. So it's still 3 1 to Toll. Which club league are you play for? Uh, isn't he Melbourne City? <laughs> you said Nebdy. No, I didn't. <laughs> what did you say? I said Down Under FC. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It was <laughs> Mandura City. I thought it was the Wizards of Oz. <laughs> it was Mandura City, so it's still 3 1 at all. What age am I, guys? Thanks so much. I'm 39. I'm like 30. It's 3 1. The next one, what's the surname of the bad family in the Goonies? Fratellis. It's the Fratellis. It's 4 1 to Toll. Well, like, it's the name, it's the name, yeah. Aye. The name of a Scottish band. You know, went Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> <laughs> the <So>, Proclaimers. <laughs> The game is done, but there was time for Grado to pull a consolation goal back because there was no flipping chance he was picking Jamie up. <laughs> the correct answer was no, and I'm surprised you said that, I told I'm surprised but, because Grado's a very nice guy. Ah, yes. Thanks, so man. it finished. Graham Steve Lee, too. Hello there. What's with Gre- Greg says I gave it? I was. Four. What, what, what? I never seen the Goonies. Never seen I the Goonies. I don't watch films, you know that. I know I hate. Come on. <laughs> of November there'll be Celtic versus the United Ooh. there'll be fireworks there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I'm so glad I don't want the fire brigade anyway the United are 22 <laughs> to 1 <laughs> on Saturday I'm laughing because you mentioned there'll be fireworks because it's fireworks and it's outlet I'm so glad I don't want the fire uh, the brigade anyway it'll be a tough shift anyway. <laughs> oh, it was Why is it non-stop it was, mate, wait, it was 14, 14, 14, 14 years straight, just constant. Aye. Now you get it, eh, eh, nine, nine, fire and rescue. They would, they would turn that off because it was just constant all night. And it was very, very difficult, tough, because it was just constant, constant phone calls. The worst thing about it was there was always officers that, would, that come in. <laughs> yeah. Like celebrations and you'd be like taking nine, nine, nine calls, fire and rescue. And like these are officers came with epilepsy and all that. Celebration, maybe celebration. Cry on the sweeties when I try to answer phone calls. But you had to obviously. Aye, no, I don't want a celebration. Sir. Fucking Ina's in fire. <laughs> Ina's just did a fucking whistling air bomb rocket put through a letterbox. <laughs> See, when we do panto, right, there's always one show where the fire alarm goes off. And when it goes on outside and see when a fire engine turns up. He'll tell you where it's... See I'll the go, numbers? I'll go like Tango zero two one. that's the RP, and it's coming in, it's the second for Mary Hill, and that'll be probably back up with Tango zero three, zero three, alpha one. I'm pure showing off to everybody nah, in there, it's nah. in the front. Well, your fake boobs on, all that, and my dressed as ugly sisters, remember? <laughs> but, mate, I know that must have been tough for you, these things, and I'm just glad you're finally opening up talking about it, man. Honestly. I was telling right. somebody about it, no, if I was telling somebody about it, I was actually a copper on Scott Squad, I was telling about it, <clears throat> about how when I went back, went back to the fire brigade <laughs> during the lockdown... <laughs> You know, that's I remember, not, I remember. Do you know, I remember having back to, because the chief officer put up a tweet saying, calling all retired firefighters to come back. Of course, it was during lockdown, so every, every, every night and that you put that advertisement out, and I, I DM'd him going, the hon, the hon. <laughs> I, woke, I, like, man. I woke up the next day, and I was like, that's a, that's a bit of a redneck, but he phoned me and went, do you want to start the morning? And I went... I'm doing nothing anyway because it was like the start of lockdown. It was right when we were Aye. looking at what all four was, but it was the best thing that I've ever done because I was going out and I was going to see folk Aye. and all the rest of it. But then, just think oh, how many people would have died if you hadn't done that. Do you know what I mean? Well, I was, you don't know. Well, I, as I say, I done a, an article for the Sun. Sure, do you remember that article that I done with the Sun? I think so. 
So, because I was like, oh man, this Cradle the Hero goes back to the fast game game that during lockdown. But the... the no the, Christ, Steve Buscemi, is it? The journalist was like, um, so how did everybody in the control room feel when you come back? Were they, were they all asking you for selfies? Not a I was like, no, I says, look, it's like folk I've worked with for years and years and years, like... It's not like that. I but what about the new folk? Were they like, "Oh, that's Grado working in the control room?" I goes, "I goes, no." I goes, "Like, no, everybody in the control room recognises who I'm working." Kind of right. And then in the, in the article the next day, it said, um, "Grado said I was shocked when I walked into the control room and no one recognised me and asked me for a photo of myself." Every I single was time, man. every <laughs> single time, man. every <laughs> single time. Man. Every <laughs> single time so man. I never went back in, man. I was like, I can't. I can't but I remember that wee point, man. Remember, you used to get and clap my first day or two. I was saying this for Grado, man. For Grado, man. I had the brains rattling the pots and pans for Grado going out of town, man. Coming out of town. Do you need a horn? I remember. I don't know if you'd say it, actually. But. Do I remember the night? Remember the night we went to like the Great Scott Awards or something? Me and you, and we walked in the Double Tree, Hilton, and on the boys the fire station were there. Right. And you were mortified because you were meant to be out. You were meant to be half saying you, you said you'd have so back or you were nowhere or something. And we walked in, man. As soon as we walked in, they were all stunned there with our full uniforms. And he's like, oh, no, man, there's one in for the fast service, man. We were hiding, remember? We had to stun at the other bar. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 did you have to shred it or something? Or you, you no, that's, when, see, when I went back, they right. didn't let me on the phone straight away. So when I went back and locked down, all I done was shred. <laughs> 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 so like, just get great, get great with shred. Did you, did you break the, did shredder, you break the shredder? What? Did you try to put a laminated sheet through I, it or something? I, I, I ended up putting too much paper in it. And the, Great right. and Batman saying <laughs> to go back to the big hero out of retirement. No, he's dangerous. Shred. Here's I'll, the part. He's, he's not even got the patience for it. He broke the fucking machine. <laughs> you sure you actually shred this one? You sure? You did right, cool. <laughs> Oh, good times, Buckman. Uh, well done, Buckman. Well do- Seriously, well done. Do you- that was a good thing today, Buckman. It was. To be fair, I not everybody would have done it. No. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Aberdeen V Hibs. <laughs> 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 uh, I like Aberdeen V Hibs. It's always a good fucking. Like it's, it it's, got, <laughs> it's got a kind of attraction to it a wee bit, hasn't it? it? Does. Big it's game. Too big, too big sides. Aye. Aye. I fancy Aberdeen. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go a bit off on that one. I, th- I think I'm going to go for a draw. Kelly, Ke- Kelly at home at Livingston, I think. I think I'm Kelly. going. I'm going Kelly at home. Aye. Kelly hard to they, beat they, him they're, 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 they're the type they're of they're games. The they're the type of games Kelly need to win. But I think McInnes knows that. I think getting beat last week, one not away from home at home. I think Kelly are hard to beat at home. Ross County versus St Mirren that kicks off at three o'clock tomorrow. Mm-hmm, I'm going to go with St Mirren. I'm going to go with Ross County. I don't know why, man. I, I've got this thing where I can't. Even can he go against Ross County when they're playing at home? No. Nah. And it's not as if they've got a great record nah. or something like that. I don't know what it is. Say, like at home at Dundee United, that's getting away win all era. Aye. Aye. Definitely. <laughs> get your money on that. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I right, I right. And then, <laughs> I hope, I hope. 6th of November, St oh. Johnston home to Rangers. I just, I'm bored already. Aye. <laughs> it's not even started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm both thinking about it. Oh, no, man. oh man, it's Jesus. a tough watch, man. It's a tough, tough watch. It's a chore. That is a chore, mate. It's, it's a chore. chore. Uh, we need to win because I'm pretty confident Celtic will beat on the United and that'll put it up to seven points. So I we need to win and I'm really uh, I buzzing for it, man. Hearts versus Motherwell. That's that a good game. <clears throat> the Jambos will win that. The Jamb. I think so. Ba- I feel back a European game, but could be tight. That's that, isn't it? You just well, the, aye. Could be tight. It all depends what Muller will show up, to be honest, because they're a good side until that very last. You struggle to score goals. I know. See if they just. I know they've got one of the top scorers as well, which is Aye. ironic. Van Veen. You know I mean? Aye, Aye. I'm going to go with a Hearts victory there, man. Home one. I'm going to go with a draw. I'm going to go with for Motherwell. Oh, Aye. Aye. Oh. I'm going to go for right Motherwell victory. Right there. Right there. Aye. So there we have it. That is a pint and two shots, the podcast, the football podcast. Please remember to like, subscribe, share to all your friends, tell all your family, retweet. Tell people in the street. Tell people in the street. I done that earlier on. Aye. Tell so, people in the street, man. Just tell everybody you see, man, to subscribe. Man. Like walk briskly behind someone in the street and, and just whisper. If you, su- into their ears. Just like, if, you, if, you, if you subscribe to a pint and two shots, you have to 
No, no. Okay, cookies. Are you definitely wearing that <laughs> later tonight? Aye, I'll need to. Wear a pair of fucking. I'll need to double up my breeks. Sondico tracky Aye. bottoms under it or something. Eh? Is that I was going to say, I'm going to wrestle wrestling my fucking my tracky bottoms. Is that right? a talc no good, man? I'll put a bit of talc. I've no got talc in the house. Ah, but you can buy it. You're aware of those shops. <laughs> <laughs> so just because you've no got something in the house, that's it. Pay those like that. Eh? Nah. Well, Amazon have it there, too. It's funny, man, because <clears throat> I took my feather up to watch me wrestle in Aberdeen on Saturday. <laughs> he came up <laughs> sitting in my passenger seat for four hours and these days when I wrestle mate I don't do much at all Aye. I, I oh I suppose the wee guy you were wrestling the young remember, boy remember Aye, you were the, he calmed in me man Aye, calmed, calmed, calmed in me man <laughs> he's like this wee guy's got to be going for it man see my father up in the motor slate, was slating all these wrestlers on the way up and I was like I don't really know if I want to wrestle in front of my dad <laughs> see, like, <laughs> I was going to say who's he slating but you don't want to mention oh, it oh everybody, everybody what was the wee guy like that you wrestled he was brilliant what was, he? What was his name him? His name was Christ that's Almighty, man. That's showbiz, man. Ronan King. He's got a best star, by the way. Ronan King. Joke. Ronan King. He but said, because the wee guy's got to be pure buzzing about it, and he says, when he sees him and all that, before he starts, the wee guy's pure hoaching to go and all that, and he says, I'll be doing much of it. <laughs> that's what I was going be doing much of it. <laughs> but see, because my dad was in the crowd, I was like, hey, wee man, we're going to be doing this tonight. And I was like, I was playing all these wee things, all these fancy manoeuvres and all that, because my father was in the crowd. <laughs> and I came out and I watched my dad, my dad was sitting, he was even looking at the rest of was like, oh, you sound like a bit of man. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I cannot believe the lead singer of Boys Own. That's the first thing I thought, man. <laughs> no, but, uh, that is a roller coaster. By the way, I've got a proper football wrestling crossover. Go uh, then. Do you know the big striker for, he used to play for Wickham, big Addy Boy. Addy, the big. Addy, I can buy. Aye, but what a brick shit. Addy, I can buy. No, that's, he was long ago. This one's, uh, I can fend one. I can fend one, aye. He's a wrestler now. He made his debut for Progress he's a couple of weeks ago. Oh, man. Wow. He? He's you a big boy. see the size of this guy. He's a monster. No, there was a goalie as well a couple of years ago for Port Vale that ended up saying with, with the WWE. That's right. That's right. Uh, he was, was he a German goalie or something? Something I can't remember now. Aye, well. That's who that is. That's 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 right, okay. Aye, aye but, uh, but your man, he's I a can, big boy, I man. I can fend one. I'd like to see you trying to fucking body slam this guy. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you should see the size of yeah, this guy. Do you know who we're talking about? Man here. Do you know who we're talking about? I think so. He's like, should get him on a pod? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there's a wee connection the there. Boys, there's a wee connection there, man. We should get him on the pod. Imagine we could get Big Ack and Fenwa on the pod. It's a good shout. Let's do it. That's his tidy. Let's do it. He probably follows you on Instagram or something. Probably, man. Anyway. He's in a big bar. I'd be putting my hat on or that watching. Better go, man. I'm getting kind of tight just it. Anyway, oh. right, I'll see you. <laughs> Here, yeah, that's the shingles. Is yeah, that really? Because it can get us. Right, boys, Maybe. stay Aye. safe out there. <coughs> like, subscribe, rate, review, and whatever you do, get all the rest, man. Stop getting these doors. Oh, oh, shingle ball, shingle ball, shingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to beat the angels on New Year's Day.